All right, guys, it's time to take a look at one of the more interesting topics in React, which is higher order components. I will be covering this topic in three parts. In this video, we will understand why there is a need for something like a higher order component. In the next two videos, we will see what exactly is a higher order component, how to create one, and also some details about higher order components. Let's begin. I'm going to create a new file called clickcounter.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rce to create a class component. I will get rid of the named export and for the JSX, I will add a button with the text clicked x times. After formatting the code, I will add this component in app component. If you now save the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see a button that says clicked x times. Now let's go back and implement the actual click counter. I'm going to start off by adding the constructor using the snippet rconst and creating a state property called count initialized to zero. I will also add a click handler on the button. So button on click is going to be equal to this dot increment count. Now we can define the handler. Increment count is going to be equal to an arrow function. Within the body, we call set state to increment the count value by one. Since we need the previous state to increment the value, the argument to set state will not be a simple object. Instead, it takes in a function which gets previous state as a parameter and returns the new state. So previous state and return the new state. Count set to previous state dot count plus one. Finally, in the render method, I will extract count from the state and include it in the JSX. Const count is equal to this dot state and instead of rendering x I'm going to render count. If you now save the files and take a look at the browser you can see that when I click on the button the count value increments. Clicked three times. So we have successfully created a click counter. We show this to the client and the client is really happy about it. But the client now comes up with a new requirement. Hey, I want another piece of UI which works very similar to this click counter. Instead of button clicks though, I want a heading which indicates the number of times you hover over it. So basically a click counter with click functionality replaced by hover functionality. Let's implement that. I'm going to go back to VS Code and I will create a new file called hovercounter.js. Within the file, I will use the snippet rce to create a class component. I will get rid of the named export and for the JSX, I will add a heading that says hovered x times. On the heading, we will handle the on mouse over event. The handler is going to be this dot increment count. Now we need a counter functionality and that was already implemented in the click counter. So let me simply copy paste the constructor and the handler. Copy and paste it. And I'm going to format the code. Now in the render method, I will extract the count value and display it as part of the heading. const count is equal to this dot state and hovered count times. Finally, back in app component, we can include the hover counter. If you now save the files and take a look at the browser, I hover on the heading and the count increases. So we have successfully created the hover counter as well. 
Now the client comes back with another requirement. They want an input element that counts the number of key presses. For example, on key up in an input element, they want to increment a counter value and display it. We can of course implement it just like the click counter or the hover counter. But we start to realize that we are duplicating code and not really reusing the functionality. In our click counter and hover counter, we have the counter functionality which could have been reused but instead has been duplicated. So if 10 different components needed a counter functionality, we would be writing the exact same code over and over again. So the question now is, how can we reuse this code? The immediate thought is to lift this state to the parent component and pass down the handler as a prop. So define the counter functionality in app component and provide the state and the handler as props to click counter and hover counter. This would definitely work in our scenario where we have the counter components as children of the same parent. But imagine a scenario where the counter components are scattered in the React component tree. Lifting the state would definitely not be the correct solution. So there is a need to share common functionality between components without repeating code. And that is where the concept of higher order components comes into picture. In the next video, we will see what exactly is a higher order component and how can we create one to reuse code in our counter example.